The listing dispatch lets you control the communications flow for your touch base messages on your listings. To access it, click on Settings in the main menu, and here's where you can find it in our app, and then click on Listing Dispatch. Each line in this grid represents a person that you may or may not want to include in your touch base communications, and each column represents a type of message, from showing requests all the way to other messages. To change which messages get sent to an individual, just click on their line, and it takes you to this page. For each type of message, there are four possibilities. Always, on office hours, out of office hours, and never. If you choose to use one of the two middle options, please check with your office to see how your office hours are configured in TouchBase. In this example, I'm selecting the co-listing agent. If you often work with a co-listing agent, you can include them in your communications by activating all the messages for this particular person and clicking on Save at the bottom. By default, you don't get showing confirmations because you're the one sending them. We strongly recommend whenever you work with another person and include them in your communications to activate showing confirmations for everyone. So I'll click on Bob's line, activate showing confirmations so he always gets them, and hit save at the bottom. If you're in a touch base team, you can include your teammates in communications by default in the same way. So I'll click on Gregory Charles's name, activate all the messages for him, set that to always, and hit save at the bottom. And now Gregory Charles will get communications for your listings. If you ever need a reminder of what the symbols in this grid mean, there's a legend in the bottom corner that you can activate. You can also configure the listing dispatch for a particular listing. To do that, click on My Listings in the TouchBase main menu, and here's where you can find it in our app. Then click on the listing you want to configure, and click on Listing Dispatch there. By default, this will be the same grid as you've configured it in the Settings section. If you want to make modifications just for this listing, click on the person's name. Let's say for this example, I don't want Carol to be included in communications and hit save. And let's say I want Gregory to help me only with the showings themselves. So I'll disable showing feedback, info on property, and other messages. If ever you want to reset the listing dispatch to the way it's configured in your settings, you can use this link here. And now it's just the way we've configured it over there. Thank you for watching the Listing Dispatch tutorial video.